we decided to take a look at the, the final configuration that we have. We uh, ended up with two chairs on the left, a curtain halfway up, and there's actually a portable potty right down here in the corner, very discreet. So we come inside here, now you can see what the end sides of the wet area looks like and we ended up uh, putting our kitchen down here we did not set up a separate uh, kitchen area we've got our electric heater cooler here storage bins we've got the uh, ceramic cooking unit there dual burner coffee maker and a nice uh, sealed cupboard down there, some electrical equipment, lights, battery chargers. And then over here we have uh, another one of our foldable tables. Now, the first time we were here it rained real hard, so we kept everything inside, but we could easily put uh, the kitchen or this outside, and then uh, here's our foldable or collapsible trash can. This is a uh, optional vestibule mesh front, uh, otherwise the tent stops right here at these air beams. This is a Hailing 4 Air Pro, four air beams, and about six windows, three zones, wet zone, living zone, and then um, a, an inner tent as a sleep zone. Let me uh, look in from the outside right now. As you can see here are uh, the clear plastic windows. There's one on the left, and there's also one on the right, and those do have full curtains that we can uh, zip up, and then here is a, a dual door that is mesh and both panel. This is no seam mesh, so even those little itty bitty critters that drive you nuts can get through and also keep out all the mosquitoes. At the very top there is a uh, ventilation panel. Ventilation is very important, especially here in Texas. And uh, you want to keep things um, nice and cool at all times, as best as you can in the heat. This uh, we do have a ground sheet down. I recommend ground sheets at all times. Let me go unzip this door. Now, as we walk in, here was the configuration we ended up with this time. We have a a, a chair on the left here. And we brought in uh, one of the tables, an alpine table, where we've uh, played many games of chess. On the left side over here is a complete full mesh door. And we have the door extended, the panel and the curtain extended to make an awning or kind of a patio. But this is a door that you can get in and out of. And uh, then as you look down below, we have the uh, our lodge theme where we have a bear on the rug. Not a real bear. A couple of... Uh, fake wood uh, stools that also operate as storage. And then over here on the right, we have um, a big black bear, which is also, or actually, a sleeping bag. And then we have some more uh, fake wood uh, pillows. Nice inflatable couch down here where our uh, grade schooler sleeps at night. And another gorgeous, big, clear plastic window that you can see out and of course it has zippered uh, curtains too if we want uh, privacy or one halfway up. All right let's uh, move in and take a look at the inner chamber now. Cool thing about the inflatable tents from Europe is they have this inner tent. It's both for sound, darkness and uh, also can uh, keep, uh, keep it warm inside, a little warmer. And, uh, but you can take that all out. You can uh, take half that down or you can uh, take the whole thing out if you want. It just depends. We're running a stream of lights here on the uh, top of the beam. We can control those with a remote control that's right here. This is a nice uh, storage panel in the beginning or in the uh, middle has about 10-12 pockets on it that are clear mesh that you can see through and then we have another bear up here at the top our happy bear the sleep chamber back here this is a four person tent so it sleeps two and two and there is actually a 
panel right up here that zips and you can seal these rooms off and make it a complete two and two or you can do it as one large room as we have and um, then what's really nice about this tent is it has a um, hanger over here if you want and you can hang it uh, a rod on the left or the right of this section where you can hang your clothes hopefully you have uh, you purchased your uh, intense glamping apparel and you're going to have that uh, in your tent or in this case we have a storage closet back here sometimes we use this as a uh, wine closet just depends more intense camping gear and um, as you can see this is very this is black mesh and so when you seal up the panels and these doors and you close the curtains on these uh, doors they're mesh it gets very dark in there very quiet and uh, and when we first initially set this tent up we did the bed in more of a uh, parallel to the front door but now we're doing this once we got here as a um, vertical and the reason we did that or perpendicular excuse me the reason we did that is it gives us uh, standing space on the right and storage space with the pockets that are there and then storage space and standing space on the left over here again with the storage pockets down below so we can enter the bed from either place um, again you can slip two on each side you can sleep two or three here in the living area or in this case we're sleeping two adults back here in the inner tent area inner sleeping area and then we're uh, letting our little one sleep here on the couch i think he eventually ends up on the floor in the middle of the night and sleeps on top of this bear in his sleeping bag so uh, this is the uh, Campa Hailing 4 Air. I believe they make a 6 Air and then they make uh, the same two tents in a technical cotton or a poly cotton, which means the material is very uh, dense but loosens up to let air in. Uh, it's more expensive, but it's a wonderful, uh, similar to the old uh, cotton type tents, a little heavier. Um, there is no rain fly on this tent as this material is about 4,000 to 6,000 hydrostatic head which means that it can take on a lot of water before it could ever leak through. Average American tent is about 750 to 1,000 hydrostatic head. These are 4,000. This tent might actually be 6,000. So that's a quick walkthrough of how we've laid out. We've been here for um, I believe four days and we're going to be leaving tomorrow. Uh, so we've got one more great night and we are going to fillet a largemouth bass for dinner that we uh, caught in the lake today here at Bonham State Park. So I hope you can take a lot from this video. I hope you learn a lot. I hope you can uh, find different ways to uh, take your camping and make it more intense. Or what I hope you will learn is how to make your outdoor experience intense glamping. So I wanted to show you from wh what it looks like from being inside the inner tent, the sleeping area of this uh, inflatable tent that we have from Europe. This is a Campa Hailing Air Pro 4. Uh, sleeps two and two. We actually have one queen size bed, but uh, you can see that uh, there's Coco back here taking a nap. You could see that uh, from the back, here's the large windows on the right and in the front, playing uh, chess here, played several great rounds of chess. Here's the uh, couch over here. There's two mesh, uh, there's two panels and then two mesh windows that uh, you can seal up from the back here. Then as we move out, you can see the living zone out here the front of the tent which is what's called the wet area on the outside of that door and then this is the living area about five and a half to six feet wide gorgeous mesh here it's a full panel door that's we that I've extended out as an awning or patio door but uh, this is what it looks like from the back then on moving out and uh, looking around